Yo, what's up guys? In this quick tutorial, I will teach you how to make this amazing looking text effect in After Effects. And for this one, we don't need any plugins or whatsoever. So I'd say, yeah, let's just go right into it. So I just made a little composition with the background, but for this one, let's focus on the text. So yeah, let's right click in here, go to new and let's add a new text. And I'll just type in effect for this example. And we can also press S on the keyboard to scale this up to whatever size we like. And we can also go to the right and look for the align tab to align it horizontally and vertically. So the text is in the, in the middle of the composition. And if there's no align tab for you in here, you can just go to window and make sure it's checked. So yeah, you can see it. But yeah, let's add our first effect and actually the most important one which is the turbulent noise effect and you can just apply it and we can see we get some texture but this is not even close to looking this cool so we have to change a few settings so first of all let's change the noise type from soft linear to block and we can already see this texture looks kind of cool and yeah we can also turn up or down the complexity to whatever we like but i think the default value 6 is always working good but we can turn up the contrast a bit to something like 200, just like this. Or let's go with 150. Yeah, this is this is good. And yeah, now we can see we have this nice texture, but it's not moving at all. But we can change that simply by keyframing the evolution. So let's just go right to the beginning and put in a keyframe at the evolution thing. And then go to the end and just put in a kind of high value in here, like 10 maybe. So we will get some nice texture animation, just like this. Maybe this is, this is a bit fast, but I think for this example, this is cool. Of course, you can just put in a, a lower value if you want it to be a bit slower, but this is completely up to you. But yeah, this looks still kind of boring because we don't have any colors or any vibrance. So let's change that real quick. So we can look for the Triton effect to give this whole thing a bit of color and yeah the default color will be in the midtones and it's uh, yeah orange uh, yeah thing but this doesn't look cool so let's change it to a light blue for example and yeah just like this i think this looks super cool you can just put in whatever color you like in here but yeah for this one let's just go with a, a light blue just like this and yeah now we have this cool thing i also think it's kind of cool to yeah change the shadows from completely black to something like really dark blue or dark whatever color you selected in the midtones so let's just put in something like yeah this in here and yeah i think this looks super cool and now we all only have one or two things left so let's also add a, a glow effect so this whole thing will obviously glow but the default settings look really stupid so let's first of all um, put in a higher value in the glow radius so this will just stretch out a bit and not be so focused on the yeah on this small text just like this and yeah then you can also play around with the threshold and the glow intensity but i think this is completely subjective so it's up to you whatever you put in here but I think it looks cool to bring up the threshold a little bit to a higher value, just like this. And yeah, I think the intensity is good, but as you can see, if we turn it up or down, yeah, this is basically the strength of the glow, but I think one looks good for this example. And yeah, I think this already looks super cool. In the example, we also had a, a bit of glitch going on. I don't know if you can recognize it, but yeah, it's just glitching a bit. And yeah, this is also super simple. We just need to make a new layer for a glitch map for this one. So let's right click in here and add a new solid. And for this, we will just apply another turbulent noise effect to make a, a completely different glitch layer, which we then can use in the yeah, text settings. But yeah, let's just make this glitch map real quick. So let's again change the noise type to block but this time let's bring up the contrast to something quite high like 400 and we can also turn on the complexity to something like 3 and let's open up the transform settings and uncheck the uniform scaling thing so we can get access to both of these yeah 
settings and let's turn up the scale wideness to something like 1000 so something really high and yeah this already looks cool we then can just animate the evolution again so this will move a bit so let's just put in a keyframe at the beginning then go to the end and just yeah go through it a bit just like this so let's yeah i think 10 always works good and yeah we can actually check it and yeah this is good now we can just right click on this and pre-compose it and again we have to make sure that or for this time we have to make sure that this settings activated i think by default it's this one but just make sure it's like this this is really important and yeah now we can actually hide this layer and go back to our text layer and just look for the displacement map effect just yeah here it is and apply it and now we can select our yeah our solid with the glitch texture for this one and we can already see we get a nice glitch going on just like this i think this is a bit too strong maybe so let's turn on the vertical displacement to something like one and i think the yeah, horizontal displacement we can leave at five or maybe let's keep it oh, not 45 but four and yeah i think this looks cool and now we also add a little or uh, yeah a small outline on the text a white outline so let's do this again and yeah for this one let's just duplicate the text layer by pressing ctrl d and for this one let's just yeah delete all effects beside the displacement map effect so let's get rid of the turbulent noise the tritone and the glow effect and now we just have to yeah, change this to yeah just an outline and for this we can just go back to our text settings in here and press this little switch arrow which yeah, will swap fill and stroke and we already yeah if we click this we get a stroke instead of a fill so this one is blank and here's a, a stroke basically and yeah now we, we can change the yeah the brightness of our outline but i think 0.5 looks good in this example so yeah, we're already done for this one. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.